Hey, what is up, you guys? So, I am Red Toaster. Good to meet you. Um, my friend is Blue Toaster. We made this YouTube channel together, and we called it Happy Go Lucky Toasters, and we're gonna have a ton of random stuff. Everywhere from this to gaming to just random news things and stuff. I, I really don't know how to explain it. But anyways... First episode that I'm making um, is about how to play the violin, and I've been playing the violin for like a week now, and I'm pretty good, but in a way we'll be learning together how to play the violin, because I don't suck that much for somebody that played for a week, like I can play a song and make songs, so yeah, sorry for my shaky camera, freaking my hands are seizuring god anyways let's get into the parts of the violin we'll do the bow next so yeah so this is the uh violin we're going to start from the top to the bottom all the way down big probably one thing that i want to point out just right now is that this thing is incredibly light like, seriously light. But, um, whoops. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's get right into it. So, this piece right here, this is called the, uh, scroll. Because, you know, looks like a scroll. I'm gonna try not to get in the way of my light. That is the scroll. I freaking missed that so much. It's way over there. Um, and then, these are the pegs. So, they're nothing fancy like a guitar has. It's just a piece of, like, it's usually ebony wood because it's black. Run all the way through. And the uh, strings are wrapped around them. There are four strings, four pegs. Pegs are for tuning. And they're just punched all the way through. Uh, as you can see right here, that's a good example of this peg. Right here, this one. It goes all the way through to the other side. I think I just quoted a song right there. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's about as much as I can cover for this part. Let's move on to the neck and the fingerboard. So... The neck is different from the fingerboard, and people will say that, oh, they're, they're one and the same, but they're not. Because this black piece right here is usually made of the same wood that the pegs are made out of. So this black piece is separate from the neck. And you can tell that way because this piece of wood underneath it goes right here. That part is the neck. The black piece on top is called the fingerboard. Because you have all the strings on top, and you can finger different notes. And it's not the same thing, because as you look through, the fingerboard has a gap, and it goes way further than the neck. And then the strings on top, um, so the thickest string, the lowest string, is a G. So this is the G string. So the second one above it, the high, the little bit higher, is called the D string. So it's G D, and then after the D string is the A string, and um, after the A string is the E string, and that's the highest one. So when you tune it, you usually tune the E string, and then you tune all the other strings after it to make it sound the same, or not the same, just going higher but uh yeah let's move on to the body this is the body of it and the body has a lot of different parts as do we i mean we don't have violin parts thank god but yeah so these these little holes they're called sound holes or you can call them f holes they're both the same thing people call them f holes because it kind of Kind of look like an F in a way. I don't know. But 
almost every violin you get will have two of them, unless it's an electric or, you know, not a violin. And I wouldn't suggest buying an electric. I'd, I'd get an actual violin, unless you're doing something really weird. But, uh, yeah. So, on from that, you have the bridge right here, which all violin bridges look pretty much the same. They're not made of anything fancy. Um, but yeah, they just hold the strings up. And this isn't screwed in here anyway. Like this, if I were to, you know, flick it out and pull it out, it would just fall over. So, if you're tightening it and a string gets too tight, it'll snap and fall on its side. I've had that happen before. Don't worry about it, because it's going to happen to everybody tuning it the first few times or something like that. And it might not, which it's not really a pain to get it back in there, but it's not really fun. So, um... These are called fine tuners. Now, usually violins will only have one for the E string all the way down here. That's because when you're tuning the E string, the peg is a little bit too much. Because it's, you know, it's a tiny, tiny little string. You don't need to adjust it a lot. But um, anyways, so usually you just use this guy. And then I have three other ones for the other strings, which I don't use a lot. Except I use the the D or the A string, sorry. I use that the A string fine tuner a little bit. These two are fully open, I just use the pegs. So this piece doesn't really have a name, or if it does, I don't know it. Um sorry about that. But this piece right here is the chin rest. When you're playing it, your chin just sits right there and it's a nice smooth groove. Usually made of wood, you know, same thing that the fingerboard's made out of, and sometimes it's just plastic. But, uh, yeah. So, the side, the side of it, this piece that's, you know, in it a little bit, so, is that's called the ribs. So, this tire thing that goes all the way from here all the way around is called the ribs. And then it's got a lip on either side of it where the top of the violin and the bottom part of the violin come together and are, like, glued to the ribs. So, yeah. And uh, just so you know, and there's nothing fancy on the bottom of the violin, and that little metal piece is on the back. So the back of the violin doesn't really have much, but it's also important. So these two metal things right here... Um, these hold on the chin rest, which you can take out and get new ones and replace and stuff like that. But I, I like mine just fine. And then there's padding underneath that little part that holds it. And then this black peg right here is called the end peg, which holds on to this piece, which we'll just call the receiving board because it receives all the strings into it. And that's held on by these two little metal pieces right here so that about does it for you know the actual violin so now let's cover the bow so this is the bow and uh in comparison it's it's a bit bigger than the violin by about maybe half or two and a half fourths maybe i don't know but, uh, yeah, so I don't know many of the names for the pieces on the bow, but I can go over what I know about it. So, this piece right here, which you'll hold, this is, you know, the piece that you hold. Obviously, I just said that multiple times. Oh my god, what am I doing? Um, this wooden piece is called the frog. So, like, it's weird, but this entire wooden piece right here is the frog it has doesn't look like a frog i don't know who named that or what kind of drugs they were on while they were naming it but it's called the frog so this stuff is actually horsehair like real horsehair and i also 
like somebody must have been really, really trying to go for something weird here. Because who just like looks at horse hair and goes, hmm, you can make music with that? No, n- probably nobody. But anyways, this is horse hair. And uh, I'll show you how to like coat it in this stuff that you get. I think it's called like vase or vase or something like that. Like a big chunk of yellow hard stuff. But yeah. So this little metal piece at the end, you can loosen and tighten the bow and make the arc closer to the freaking hair or farther away. So tighter or looser. And then this little mesh piece right here, I don't know what that's for. And then this piece, I also don't know what's for. As far as I know, that black piece is just padding for when you hold it, but it might not be. But this part, I freaking missed it again. This part is the bow head. So, um, yeah, let's let's show you how to coat this thing in that stuff, which usually it'll come with it, but sometimes it doesn't. So, yeah, mine is really old because. I, somebody had this violin before me, and then somebody before that, and now I have it. But anyways, uh, it's all crumbling. This stuff, it looks like honey, or something like that, but it's all hard, and it's not supposed to be all cracked like that, and it's not supposed to be as hard as a rock. But it is supposed to be hard. So, anyways, let's show you how to coat the violin. In, or not, <laughs> you don't coat the violin in this. If you do that, you will have some serious problems. I don't even know why I said that. You coat the hair in this and just the bottom part, but I'll show you how to do that. So I tried to set up something, but I couldn't. So, anyways, you would have the bow like this. You'd be holding the this stuff in one hand, and you'd take it, and you'd be holding it, and you'd go from one side. And you basically drag it across, you know, do what you can, keep it in the middle, and then you stop, and then you go across again, like that, and you just do that a few times. Don't do it too many times, or you'll mess up your bow. But, uh, yeah, and then, you know, that's pretty much that for coating the bow and whatever the hell this stuff is called. I'd have to ask my friend again. But, yeah. And I'm going to go over my case just for fun because I really like my case. So, this is my violin case. It's hard on the outside and it's got this soft kind of materially stuff on the inside of it. And it's even got this nice little pocket where I put my thing and a Velcro strap that's supposed to go here, but I don't put it on there. Cause I don't like it. Um, but yeah, so pretty much violin goes in there just like that. And then these two little metal bits right here, those snap open and close. I don't have two bows, but those two things hold the bow. And then it's got a little pocket right here. So when you slide it in, it goes in there. Put it like that, flip the thing shut, flip that thing shut, and then it's got like a Velcro flap right here. I don't know why, because it's, it's pretty much useless. I mean, it's just an obstacle when you're trying to open and close it, but yeah, I, I have no clue. So yeah, I guess until the next episode, see ya.